All right, hello everyone. As promised from last week's video that we looked at Broly, the exclusive edition from San Diego Comic-Con 2022, here we have Super Saiyan 2 Goku, the exclusive edition. And as you can see, it does have the exclusive edition box that he came with from the same batch of San Diego Comic-Con figures. I'm pretty sure the other one was Majin Vu and uh, Android 16, as well as the exclusive edition painting, me metallic painting Shenron, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, here we have them. Here we have the Goku. Yeah, the, the lighting is a little bit weird this time, but I'm trying something uh, different, so uh, bear with me. Now, let, um, let's get this guy out of the box to see what he comes with, because I'm actually excited about this Goku. He is the first Super Saiyan 2 Goku, if I believe, and he comes with a, a lot of accessories, as you can see. He, we can still see like the amount of accessories he comes with, so that's great. So let me get him out of the box and see what he's working with. Alright, so here we have Super Saiyan 2 Goku, and I decided to grab the Dragon Ball Super Broly Blue Goku that's a general release, and compared to this uh, newer Goku, um, I think he is one of the newer Gokus that we have gotten in the last year or so, uh, besides the Ultra Instinct, uh, the Master Ultra Instinct Goku from the Toyotaro uh, manga. But just looking at them, they look very similar, and granted, they would. They are Goku, so there's slight uh, differences. For example, the, the I think the undershirt does have a very similar color. I think uh, this Goku is just a darker blue, and of course, the boots, they're darker with this Goku. And the gi itself is more um, red-orange rather than yellow-orange. But they do have the metallic coloring on the hair, and they are the same height. Although this uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku does look taller, mainly because of the halo, and I think the neck is more protruded upward, so there's that. But uh, they have the same mold, pretty much. This Goku is um, was, I think, um, issued as a 2.0 model rather than the 3.0 that everyone prefers nowadays. So I think that that is gonna give him some slight disadvantages when it comes to posing. Now, just looking at this Goku closer, we can see that he has a lot, uh, a lot of detail. Uh, he is the one that fought against Majin Vegeta, not anything, one of the better fights in Dragon Ball, so. Uh, he again, he's the standard Goku. He just looks battle damage. Uh, I wish they actually went more into the battle damage, kind of like what they did with um, Beast Gohan, and gave him like ripped uh, pants and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. They give him some scuffs and marks so he actually looks battle damage and not just um, like someone grabbed his shirt and scratched it. But. Uh, he does, as I mentioned, he does have the uh, metallic coloring on the hair. It's not as um, noticeable, at least in the camera, as the Broly. But in person, it is quite noticeable. Which I think is pretty cool. Um, I think metallic coloring can work efficiently, or very effectively, many times. And I think this is one of those cases. Now, in terms of articulation. Uh, this Goku, as I mentioned, is the 2.0 model, so he might have pretty much the same articulation as the blue Goku that I looked at previously. So arms can race all the way up upward, as usual. Uh, butterfly joints are from the back, so they're pretty, pretty good. They move pretty well. That's how much range of motion they have, again. Um, they don't have the clothing to actually cover it, which is a, a small issue, but not that big of an issue for me, at least. In terms of the arms, uh, for the way they can bend, 
pretty much over 90 degrees, of course, that's great. Hands also twist every uh, 360 degrees, and I think that's pretty good. In terms of crunching, uh, this Goku, uh, I'm not sure. Um, whoa, that's something. So, app crunching. Not the greatest, not the worst. Um, actually, that is, that is pretty bad. The neck also doesn't go forward that much because if I put it back up, the neck is still like at the same size. So, whoa, that's my my fault. I uh, beheaded Goku over there. My fault. My apologies. Uh, but yeah, in terms of the legs, uh, the splits, since it is a 2.0 model, he won't have the best splits uh, available. And because the flaps right here, these loose flaps, do cause it to not function the, the best and just limit his movement a lot. Now, in terms of the legs, of course, they can always, they could all, already do the, the split all the way to forward and the joints are pretty much the same as any other uh, Dragon Ball character where the pants kind of fold in a weird shape, but it still works. Now the boots, again, uh, toe joint, because every Dragon Ball figure has it, and then a three, uh, 360 degree uh, turning point. Same with the other leg, uh, forward, knee joint, toes. Now, this Goku does look to be pretty good. Uh, I don't know how much trouble I'll have posing him, but he does not have the most accessories for him to be posed the, uh, the most, especially shown in the box. He doesn't seem to have that many action poses that they took from, but uh, speaking of accessories, let's take a look. Alright, so this Super Saiyan 2 Goku does come with quite a bit of accessories, and of course, the exclusivity of this power-up stand as we looked at with Brawly, that was his only exclusive item that he came with, so there's that. Now, when it comes to this Goku, he comes with three different uh, face plates, aside from the uh, main one that he has on his face, and actually four different sets of hands. That is a lot of hands that I didn't think would actually come in with this figure, uh, but looking at the faces first, let's not get too ahead of ourselves, we have the... The, the smirking face that he does against Majin Vegeta. Everyone knows that uh, that scene I, that I'm talking about. We have a shouting face, as typical of any Dragon Ball figure, which of course is awesome. Very good detail, especially with the mouth right here, like the the movement of the mouth. That's great, honestly. I, I love how they capture that. That's pretty good. This is a really detailed figure. I don't know if I've noticed that with any other figure, honestly. And then, of course, uh, more of a serious type of, like, shocked expression. If you want to, if you have the Majin Vegeta that just came out recently, and you want to recreate that scene where Vegeta kind of, like, knocks him out, you can use this face for sure. Because they were both still Super Saiyan 2. Now... He does have two fighting fighting pose uh, hands. Uh, that's like the typical thing that comes with any Goku figure. It even came with the Super Saiyan Blue Goku that I showed earlier. Uh, that I compared him to earlier. Um, two key blast hands, of course. Any Dragon Ball figure needs a key blast hand, unless you're like Bulma or Roshi. Actually, Roshi would work, but it's Roshi. Uh, actually, now looking at it. They are pretty much the same accessories as the blue Goku. So, <laughs> two grasping hands, uh, just typical, again, Dragon Ball, typical stuff. But this is actually very interesting to me. They included not one, but two instant, tra instant transmission, ugh, instant transmission hands, which is very, very interesting, at least in their decision of, like, why two? I understand that you can pose him with now uh, both arms. And I don't know if you want to do a special beam cannon Goku, go ahead. But it's very interesting that they decided to include two of them. Because they normally don't do that. Now, 
there is a set of accessories that I haven't showed. Uh, and those are the lightning accessories that are typical for any Super Saiyan 2 figure. Although I'm not sure if Majin Vegeta includes those in his, the newest one at least. Uh, the only reason I haven't, I haven't put them on this thing, as you can see there's like small holes where you can put them. Um, it's because I'm afraid of breaking them. So I will try my best to put them in with the best of my ability. But there is no promises that in the final review, there's going to be the lightning on him. <laughs> so give me a couple of seconds and I will be right back with my final thoughts. All right. So as usual, I will be using my grading scale of one through ten for this Super Saiyan 2 Goku. If you are unfamiliar with that, with my grading scale, ten is perfect. Five is decent and Anything below five is not acceptable for me, at least. I would not recommend those type of figures. Now, for this Goku, I place him around a seven. Uh, middle of the road seven, like a 7.5. The reason for this, uh, one of my slight issues with this figure, is that his lightning strands are quite difficult to actually uh, place into the um, power-up stand. I, I myself have trouble putting small pieces into uh, these type of accessories because I can put too much strength, uh, strength, and then break them. I've done it previously with the Chun Li, and I don't want to do it again. Uh, and overall, he's just another Goku. He is not necessarily special. He's only special for being the first Super Saiyan 2 Goku to release out of the SH Figure Arts line, but he uses the 2.0 model, which you'd think, especially in 2022, they would have gotten rid of that, especially for this Goku being new. Uh, his body doesn't have much battle damage, um, aside from the the uh, orange uh, gi shirt being kind of torn up in the middle. Um, I, I just think they missed quite the mark on this Goku. Uh, he's still good. He comes... Uh, another issue, actually. Uh, there's two uh, two issues uh, that's with the figure. His accessories are the same accessories as the blue Goku that I looked at earlier in this video. I Aside from the exclusiveness of the power-up stand and the lightning strands, which I find to be difficult to input. I just think this Goku was okay. For the price of $70, I think he was a decent release uh if he released by himself with just the regular accessories that he comes with like the face plates and the hands i think he would have been like maybe 40 45 dollars so an additional i mean nearly 30 dollars for just the power up stand and the lightning strands is a little too much uh but that's another issue that i won't get into here but overall this goku is great and um yeah, next week I'll be looking at uh, the good Majin Buu. So I'll see you all next time.